Look what just arrived. It is a feline Marseille tarot deck. This is the exciting one. This is the one that I was been hyping on the news for a while. Pretty excited about it, I gotta say. Look at the design. Look at the design of the box and whatnot. And, and the back. That is an attractive set of cards. Let me see if I can't, let me see if I can't ruin it by trying to open it with a blade. So uh, let's open this up and see what it looks like. This was a Kickstarter. It is also available on Etsy, link in the description. If you wanna pick this up on Etsy. It comes in green, maroon, or pink. I got pink because that's how I roll, don't judge. The Feline Marseille Tarot deck is a very attractive looking uh, thing. Now look at this, you get this and you pull it and it comes out it's a little shelf. You can use this as a jewelry box. I'm not kidding. I guess you probably could, theoretically. How does it pull? It, it's difficult to pull out. A lot of friction here. I'm not going to lie. Um, there is the inside of this cool jewelry box looking uh, innovative box here. And there's what you get. You get some cards. I know it's shocking, but you get some cards. And it is kind of tiny. I mean, no offense, it's kind of tiny. There's your little box that goes with it. And here are your little cards. That is a skinny set of cards. It's, you know, skinny and long. Some people like it skinny and long. Comes with a microscopic little book. So you get the little book with it. It comes with a pink book and it tells you definitions and whatnot. So we'll look at the book later. Obviously you wanna see the cards. Let's zoom in a little more. This is. I'm not going to lie, this is a little smaller than I had expected. So let's remove this and take a look at how this compares to other Marseille decks. Here's the side of the cards. Look at that. They really did A plus for presentation, my friend. A plus for presentation. Just initially, just looking at it, it's got a bit of a border and whatnot. A little too large of a border, in my opinion, for this size. Let's do a size comparison with the with the uh, waterfall tarot. So here's a standard waterfall tarot size compared to what you get over here with the Marseille. Let's look at another one. Let's look at the Dark Mansion. Here's a Dark Mansion card, and you can compare that with the Marseille as well. So it's kind of kind of thin and long and veiny, I guess. Some people like it that way. The Fool is pretty cool. Now, obviously, it's going to be cat-based. I mean, you saw that coming. It is a cat-based deck. Let's go for the next one, which is going to be the Magician. Kind of cool. Can we get a little better focus, and then we move? There we go. That is cool looking. I like it. It's a little deck. I'm not saying it's pocket sized, but it's good. It's close. It's kind of nice. Probably definitely probably fit in the purse. Magician, Labatilea, I guess. I don't know how you pronounce that. I butchered that. The Pope S. Ooh, that's cool. I love, okay, anything cat themed, I'm probably going to get it. I'm probably going to buy it. Not going to lie. Pope S is, looks cool indeed. And uh, there's the back, by the way. Obviously, that's going to be different based upon if you get the pink, maroon, or dark green version. Card quality comes about to here. I mean, not bad. It's not bad. It has a texture to the back, too. I think it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, that's definitely textured. I like it. Um, let's look at the rest of them. We got the Empress. Uh, we got a cat for the emperor. I love the cat theme. Anything cats, I just love it. We got the Pope. Very cool. Got a couple of cat monks waiting on the Pope to make decisions and whatnot. Got the lovers. I like it. Different sort of cat people and a cat Cupid. A kitty Cupid. I like it. We got the chariot. Uh, a lot of cat action in there. Would I have liked borderless? Yeah. This is good. If you trim this, you're going to get a mini deck. No doubt about it. You're going to have a very, very small deck of cards. Justice, I like. And Justice. Is that a mouse? Is it a mouse? Kind of curious, like, what that is. What that is exactly. Let's zoom in and see if that is indeed a mouse. I'm kind of curious now. 
I think so. I think that's a mouse. That is too cute. So, um, yeah, very cute deck so far. Let's continue taking a look at the uh, Hermit. Also very cool. Then the Wheel of Fortune. That's so cool. The Rabbit. The Fortitude, Love Force, Strength. By the way, this was only like 35 bucks. So very, very pleased with the price point on this. And of course, I like the cats and whatnot. So uh, that helps too. All right. Look at the Hanged Man. Death. <laughs> it's a weird looking cat. I like the cat head on the end of the stick. Very cool. Uh, you got the cat foot, you got the decapitated cat paw, then we have temperance, uh, cute, um, the devil, also cute, I like the two cats with the boobies, you got kitty boobies, coobs, is that it, coobs, I don't know if it's a man boob, it's moobs, if it's a kitty booby, is it coobs, I don't know. That that they don't uh, don't quote me on that. The tower with a fish. What's going on with a fish? Not sure. I know cats like fish, indeed. And the star. Uh, another kitty with boobies. Kind of concerning. Then we have the moon. Instead of the wolf and the dog howling. Have the sun. What is happening here? They are reaching for each other or something. Interesting. We have judgment as they are lifted up with a fish on the flag. I like that. A lot of fish in a cat deck, which seems natural. It seems natural. We get the focus on here. Try to keep refocusing. It's kind of a tight focus reticule. And now we go to the ace of wands with the cat head. Poking out of there, we have the two, cute, we got little cats right there, and cats everywhere. It does sort of, um, does sort of let you know that there's a cat deck. The three, obviously non-illustrated miners, but I don't mind because that's kind of, you know, it is a Marseille deck. I do not mind that the miners are not illustrated at all. So we're just going to kind of blow through the miners here and then go to the court cards, which are illustrated. Okay. Yeah, the page of wands. The knight of wands. Queen. And the king. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. We have the ace of cups. Always, always an attractive card. I do love me some Marseille. Do not mind Marseille at all. Still need to finish my uh, complete Marseille course. There's the two, the three, the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Very traditional indeed. I like it. And we have the Page of Cups. Then the Knight of Cups. Queen. And King. Just a little bit tilted. We're a little bit tilted here. We need to fix. We need to fix. My OCD is kicking in. Okay. Ace of Swords. Very cute. We have the Two of Swords. Three. Four. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. There are your swords. Now we're going for the knight, the page, oddly ordered, oddly ordered indeed, the queen, and the king. Too cool, too cool. I wonder why the page and the knight are reordered. Interesting, it's just those. All right, so then we have the ace of pentacles, the two which obviously has the created by on that particular card. We got the three, the four, five, six, seven, eight. Very cool, very cool, I like it. Nine is pretty colors. I think the color scheme that they went with or that they chose it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. I like it. You have the page of coins properly ordered this time. Then we have the knight. Queen. And king. Cool deck. Cool deck. All right. For thickness, let's compare it to the dark mansion. It's a pretty thick deck. This is not a thin deck of cards at all. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And again, the size, it's, it's thinner and whatnot. Let's take a look at the book and see what we got here. We got a, a little bit of history, I guess. Um, basically, it explains the layout. The Feline Marseille. Introduction. We got a bit, a bit of the layout. We go into the this guide. Then we have the suits. So we have the wand suit, for example. I can pause and let you read that. Then we have the major arcana, the fool, the magician. So that is really, really bright. Let me lower the brightness here so you can kind of read this a little better. Um, there we go. That's a little too much, but yeah. Anyway, so there's a major arcana. Then when you get to the minor, we got the ten of cups. Ten of Cups, happiness comes home to roost, a successful and growing home. Entertainment, comfort, respected and honored leader. Ten of Cups, there you go. So this is sort of a little book, obviously a little bitty book. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'm kind of curious. I love the jewelry box presentation on the box. That is for sure. Overall, I love this deck. Very reasonably priced at 35 bucks as well, in my opinion. Let's put the jewelry box thing back in. That's so cool. That is so cool. That's a great design. Great little design. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm very impressed. For a Marseille deck, I like it. Wish it was borderless, but that is just me. I don't, uh, I, you know, I just wish it was borderless, but yeah, there's that. Anyway, let me know what you think. I love it, especially for 35 bucks. I think it's a good card quality. It's nice and thick. We got the gilded edging. We got a fancy box all for 35 bucks. That's a win in my opinion. And um, this is a fantastic deck of cards. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.